Brian here, and today's alluring topic is what is protein concentrate, isolate, and hydrolysate. Our story starts with cows. Well, actually milk from cows. You see, farmers milk their cows, and that milk is sent to a cheese manufacturer where it's separated into solids and the liquids. Now the solids, they get made into cheese, and the liquids, well, that's actually whey. Liquid whey is then sent to a protein manufacturer where it's filtered, then dried, and da ding we have whey protein concentrate. Now at this point, since it is a concentrate, it's anywhere from 30 to 89 percent protein, and it does also contain lactose, fats, and minerals, many of which do have health benefits, but the concentrate can actually be processed even further into whey protein isolate. As it's processed further, the protein is separated from the lactose and the fats. So what remains is about 90% protein, and voila, we have whey protein isolate. One of the benefits of the isolate versus the concentrate is that the body absorbs it more rapidly. Two of the ways it's processed to isolate form are through microfiltration and ion exchange. Now through ion exchange, it is exposed to harsh chemicals which can denature some of the protein and have a greater loss of micronutrients. However, through the microfiltration process, you get a better yield of protein, less loss of micronutrients, and there's no exposure to any harsh chemicals at all. And believe it or not, our protein manufacturing story is still not completed. See, manufacturers can take the isolate and break that down even further through hydrolysis. In this scenario, the protein is broken down into peptides, which are absorbed into the bloodstream even more rapidly. And at this point, we finally have whey protein hydrolysate. So which form is best? That's going to be the next question you're probably going to ask. And that actually depends on you. First of all, your budget, what you can afford, because the concentrate is going to be less expensive than the isolate or the hydro hydrolysate just simply because there's less processing going on. Uh, second question you have to ask is, what do you want from it? If you're looking for something that's going to absorb rapidly into your body, go with the uh, isolate or the hydrolysate. If that's not a big concern of yours, then you're probably fine going with the concentrate. 